today what the Lord has to say about the book of Judges chapter 3. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us today. Just give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit, guard and protect us, our vehicles, our loved ones, their vehicles, our leaders, their vehicles, others, their vehicles, and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations. Send down our guardian angels to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you've called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us, our loved ones, our leaders, others in the world today. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speak an encouraging words to and or listening to, just show us that person. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you. We pray against any attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, and others in the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. Father God, we pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. And we pray for the safety of our cities and the people in them. Please show mercy on us and heal our land, Father. We come to you in repentance right now and ask that you forgive us of each and every sin, whether it be in word, thought, and or deed, that we've sinned against you, others, and or ourselves, as we forgive those who've sinned against us. We pray for all our enemies and anyone listening right now that has not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior and would like to do so now. We pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. Father, we just thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior right now. We pray over them right now, Father. Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them, how to use them for your glory. Help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth so they can discern between the truth and the lies. Help them to get into prayer with you each and every day. That's just like talking like we are with you, listening for your voice and obeying what you tell us. So you can grow in their relationship and walk with you each and every day, Father. We just thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior right now. It's a God divine appointment that you're here. God wants you to know how much he loves you and adores you and sent you to this channel so you can be saved and go to heaven someday and have a relationship with him. And as you draw close to him each and every day, he'll draw close to you. And you'll never be alone throughout all your situations and circumstances in the world. God will never leave you nor forsake you. He wants you to know that right now. And he will be your best friend. And we pray all of this in Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, 
Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of Judges chapter 3. So if you have your Bibles and would like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of Judges chapter 3 and we'll get started. Thank you. Now, these are the nations which the Lord left to prove Israel by them, even as many as of Israel as had not known all the wars of Canaan, only that the generations of the children of Israel might know, to teach them war at the least such as before knew nothing thereof, namely five lords of the Philistines and all the Canaanites and the Sidonians and the Hivites that dwelt in Mount Lebanon, from Mount Baal Hermon unto the entering in of Hamath. And they were to prove Israel by them, to know whether they would hearken unto the commandments of the Lord, which he commanded their fathers by the hand of Moses. And the children of Israel dwelt among the Canaanites, Hittites, and Amorites, and Perizzites, and Havites, and Jebusites. And they took their daughters to be their wives, and gave their daughters to their sons, and served their gods. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and forget the Lord their God, and served Balaam in the groves. Therefore the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he sold them into the hand of Cusham Hirshuram, king of Mesopotamia. The children of Israel served Cushan Rishithium eight years. And when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel, who delivered them, even Othniel, the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he judged Israel, and went out to war. And the Lord delivered Cushan, Rishathim, king of Mesopotamia, into his hand. And his hand prevailed against Cushan, Rishathim. And the land had rest forty years, and Othniel, the son of Kenaz, died. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord strengthened Eglon, the king of Moab, against Israel, because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. And he gathered unto him the children of Ammon and Amalek, went and smote Israel, and possessed the city of palm trees. So the children of Israel served Eglon, the king of Moab, eighteen years. But when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised them up a deliverer, Ehud the son of Gera, a Benjamite, a man left-handed, and by him the children of Israel sent a present unto Eglon, the king of Moab. But Ehud made him a dagger, which he had two edges of a cubic length, and he did gird it under his remnant upon his right thigh. And he brought the present unto Eglon, king of Moab, and Eglon was a very fat man. And when he had made an end to offer the present, he sent away the people that bear the present. But he himself turned again from the queries that were by Gilgal, and said, I have a secret errand unto thee, O king, who said, Keep silence. And all that stood by him went out from him. And Yehud came unto him, and he was sitting in a summer parlor, which he had for himself alone. And Yehud said, I have a message from God unto thee. And he rose out of his seat. And he who put forth his left hand, and took the dagger from his right thigh, and thrust it into his belly. And the haft also went in after the blade, and the fat closed upon the blade, so that he could not draw the dagger out of his belly, and the dirt came out. Then he who went forth through the porch, shut the doors from the parlor upon him, and locked them. When he was gone out, his servants came, and when they saw that, behold, the doors of the parlor were locked, they said, Surely he covereth his feet in his summer chamber. And they tarried till they were ashamed. And behold, he opened not the doors of the parlor. Therefore they took a key and opened them. And behold, their Lord was fallen down dead on the earth. And Ehud escaped while they tarried and passed beyond the quarries and escaped unto Sirath. And it came to pass when he was come that he blew a trumpet in the mountain of Ephraim, and the children of Israel went down with him from the mount, and he before them. And he said unto them, Follow after me. For the Lord hath delivered your enemies, the Moabites, into your hand. 
And they went down after him and took the fords of Jordan toward Moab and suffered not a man to pass over. And they slew of Moab at that time about 10,000 men, all lusty and all men of Velor, and there escaped not a man. So Moab was subdued that day under the hand of Israel, and the land had rest fourscore years. And after him was Shmagar, the son of Anath, which slew of the Philistines six hundred men with an ox goid, and he also delivered Israel. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Judges chapter 3. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it. Till next time. Bye.